Morning Rods. Morning Beb. Morning Beb. Cheers Kenna. How's Tommy coming? Getting there slowly. He's uh, just starting to get that sort of feel for him now so he's uh, coming on nicely. We're just sort of just cracking on with it and see how it all pans out. But yeah, he's looking really good. A nice coffee. Now in our own studio and our own little foundry, we are almost a one-stop shop and still learning every day, which is the magical thing about sculpture and art. Hi guys, for you guys watching, this is our morning family routine in the studio. So welcome on board. And uh, I'm just doing this portrait or likeness of a TV character actually. So yeah, it's good fun. In the mornings we always have this bit of time, don't we Rox? Yeah, I think the energy is always good in it in the morning for yeah. creativity. And Rox has been doing really well with her work over these this last year now. She's been selling in some of the galleries, which is really nice, isn't it? She could have gone as a fully qualified chemist in the end, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I did chemistry with forensic science and yeah. toxicology. Um, after I finished my degree, I um, just took a bit of time out. I sort of felt a bit saturated with the education, so just thought I'll just enjoy my art. I've always enjoyed doing my art, but obviously my style is completely different from Dad's, so I just wasn't confident in my own art. Um, and obviously in that year, I was lucky enough to get picked up by the gallery. Um, and it just went from there, really. My style's a lot more uh, simplified than Dad's. Yeah, I sort of try and create like a character that people will attach to and uh, want to give them a home, so. It's nice, this is what we want to do with YouTube as we get going, as these programs start to progress forward. And we're going to show you more and more of what we create as a family. Which is good for people to see like the, the difference in sculpting, do you know, like the, yeah, the, the variation. variation. I think it's good to show you guys where we began, what we're doing, what we're achieving now. Uh, me and Rox make a lot of the tools ourselves, which is our fingerprint on everything we do. The good thing is about sculpture, it's down to the individual. Our art's sort of an extension of ourselves, isn't it? So <laughs> yeah. the, um, the key to doing your own sculpture and doing your own, well, art, painting, whatever, is just staying true to yourself, isn't it? Say, like, people copy, there's a lot of copy artists out there. And be original, no matter how, how it comes over from you, it's got to come from the soul. It's about just creating something together. Art is that great leveller that allows you to also meditate and relax. It's just letting yourself drift, taking the pressures away. And we, we often think, I don't I always get frustrated when I don't get to school, don't I? Yeah, so, that's why we like to try and make a bit of time in the morning as well, isn't it? Because once, yeah. once the day's started, we don't really get a chance, do we? No, and the most of you follow me on Instagram will know I'm up at just after five because I want to get them a few hours in before the phones start. You need people, you need people around you that are enthusiastic about what you do and believe in the things you do. And we all do sort of rely on each other, don't we? We all... Massively. Like, if you're doing a sculpture, you'll ask me and Ben to have a look and what do we think and vice versa. If I'm doing stuff, you'll go, oh, why don't you try just doing that? Or yeah. I think a lot of artists are quite solo, aren't they? Yes, whereas, isolated in what they create yeah, and what they we're, do. Whereas we're a little bit different because we're all creative. intertwined. Well, not just that, we're all three of us are very creative. And I think like the mornings when we come in, we're always having a, if I'm working on a new portrait and, and I always get rocks and Ben to have a look at it in the morning because it's someone looking at it fresh. When you're sculpting or working on something, I say it's like being at the cold face. You go blind because you're working, working, you need to step away. And the reason we do that is then when you come and look at it after a few weeks or maybe months, a lot of months, you just see it very differently. And the things that are wrong with it or make you feel uncomfortable are the things that you then start to change to make re breathe new life into it, don't we? Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon.